How's it going, guys? My name is TJP. Welcome back to another MLB The Show 24 franchise video here. We're doing another one of our rebuild NL team. Next team on the schedule has the St. Louis Cardinals. So before going to the gameplay, leave a like, subscribe, hit the bell if you want to be notified when I upload. And if you know, just like other content from me, TJP, like subscribe to the video if you enjoy the content. Comment down below some of my videos over socials, play the second channel and main channel down below in the description because, like I said, if you like the content for DJP, go check it out. Uh, the rules are also down below in the description. Five seasons, injuries on. Uh, it's supposed to be their live roster with injuries, but of course, San Diego Studios yet to update the rosters. Like some of the guys that are free agents, like Snell is still a free agent. He's not on the roster, but I, I can't control that. It is what it is. So, you know, game's game. Hopefully that's fixed soon on their end. Um, other than that, I mean... Yeah, not meant to be realistic, and if you misread two names, you misread two names. So yeah, with that being said, uh, let's get on to the gameplay. All right, let's take a look at some of the lineups, the roster we've got. And by the way, yes, my voice is still not 100% there yet, so if I sound a little bit weird, that's why. Uh, some videos might sound normal, it's because the video was recorded uh, well in advance before I had my uh, voice effed up. So just be mindful of that. Anyways, with that all being said, we got Edmund, Donovan, Paul Goldschmidt still here. Gorman, we got Nolan Arenado, Jordan Walker, Lars Nootbar, Wills Contreras, Dylan Carlson. Some good players. Uh, we got Crawford off the bench. Uh, Carpet there off the bench too. Herrera, Mason Wynn. You know, they're coming off not a great season. <clears throat> but I do think there is some talent on the squad. So, you know, they do have Sonny Gray. You know, they got him. So that's a good pickup for them. Gibson, Matts. We got Miles and Lance Lynn, uh, Libertor in the bullpen. It's a long early pitcher. We got Jojo Romero, Kit Ridge. We still got Giovanni Gagos, Ryan Helsley still here for their squad. So there is some talented players on this team. Don't get don't get it twisted. Now I will say this: there's always room for improvement, and. I wouldn't mind trying to get a, an upgrade at that center field spot. The question is, though, is there anybody here that I would want to potentially move that is making a lot of money? And the answer to that is probably yes. Um, so I guess we'll have to look around and see what's out there in the market. If not, I mean, we'll probably have to wait till like, the deadline to maybe make some more moves. But I do want to see if we can try to get a better center fielder right now. Not that I don't dislike Carlson, but I think we can get... An upgrade there that's like my first thing that I'm kind of looking at so let, let's see what's out there if I can get something otherwise I'll probably just keep the team as is and maybe we'll make, make some moves towards the deadline instead but let's just see what's out there for now all right I think I'm gonna make this move here at the Red Sox get Jaron Duran for Adam Klovenstein Michael Curiali and then uh, Pedro Pages so we get a decent player in Duran be our starting center fielder for now so I don't mind that move uh, which is cool. I think that does improve our team a little bit. I think our team is actually pretty solid. We might have a chance to make the playoffs. But, you know, we'll see. Uh, if we miss it out, not a problem. We, we have five seasons. So let's see what happens. I'll see you guys around the All-Star break. Should be pretty good. All right, so we're at the All-Star break. We're sitting at 52 and 45. We're at the top of our division. I mean, we're not a great team, but we are at least at the top. It's pretty weak uh, in El Central. We do have some injuries to a lot of our guys. Uh, biggest one being Lars Nootbaar. He's going to be pretty much gone for the season. He's having a solid year, I guess, before he got hurt. But <clears throat> torn Achilles tendon. That's unfortunate. So his season's over. So, yeah, Duran hasn't been great. Uh, Donovan, not great. Paul Goldschmidt's been really good. You know, the thing with him is he's just getting up there in age. He'll be a free agent, but we'll try to keep him around. Gorman, eh. Aaron Adams on fires of late. Walker, Contreras has been really good. Tommy Edmond and Dylan Carlson. Yeah, the offense just isn't quite there. Uh, Victor Scott's been good, though, in his limited amount of time. Herrera, decent. Matt Carpenter. So I feel like our pitching has probably been pretty good. Sonny Gray's been excellent. Matt's been good. Kyle Gibson's been solid. Mike Libertor has been okay. And, yeah, our rotation's good. Bullpen, overall, in the middle is not too amazing. Uh, Jojo Romero, yikes. Gallegos, though, has been really good. And Helsley's been solid as well. 29 saves. Was he an all-star? No, he was not. Uh, so, bullpen could be better, but our starting rotation is excellent. Which is nice. Uh, 
So without Lars, uh, they're having Carlson play right, which I guess makes sense. I'm wondering if there's any move we can make to try to get like ourselves a better um, right, you know, just like another right fielder. So I guess we can see what's out there in the market on that front. Uh, if there's anybody that we might want. And um, yeah, it's a, let's see, let's see who's out there. All right, I'm gonna do this deal here with the Blue Jays. We're gonna give up Brandon Crawford, Jojo Romero, and Lance Lynn. We're getting back George Springer, Jordan Romano, and and Ryan Boyer. Just kind of a throwing, but I know we're taking a lot of money here with George Springer, but he's having a solid season. I think that'll bolster up the offense a little bit. And of course, getting uh, Romano is a really good uh, option for our bullpen. It's gonna improve that a lot, so I'm happy with that. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, right now, I mean, we might have a shot of winning our division. And granted, we're not a very good team in terms. I mean, we're decent, but we kind of need to win our division if we want to make the playoffs. I'd say so. Hopefully, we can do that. And yeah, I'll see you guys at the end of the season. See what happens. All right, so we went 80 and 74, won our division, taking on the Reds in the divisional series. So we needed that, uh, or not divisional, the wild card series rather. Uh, yeah, we needed to win those last six games. Good thing we did, uh, which was huge. 80 and 74 is what we went. And, um, yeah, solid season. Nothing too crazy, but at least we're in the playoffs. Anything can happen after that. Did some injuries here. McCall is hurt a few days, but he should be fine. Again, Lars Nutbar is out for the season. Other than that, nobody else uh, is hurt. That is of note. Um, eh, Duran, okay. Donovan, okay. Nothing great. Arenado was solid, so was Gorman and Walker. Springer was pretty good. Goals had a great season. Trez ended up being pretty solid. So, yeah, I think our offense did step it up. Second half of the season was better. Uh, shout out to Mason Wynn as well. Got 19 at bats, played six games, and hit four home runs. So that's, that's pretty good. I'm not going to lie. Hopefully he could be like an everyday player in the next, you know, three to five, two to four. Maybe next two, three seasons. Uh, if he can get up to like a 70, if he can get up to like an 80s or something. I mean, Tommy Edmonds a nice guy. Don't get me wrong, but you know, we'll see. Maybe if he's better than Tommy Edmonds at that point, we just let Tommy Edmonds go. Who knows? But let's see the pitcher rotation. Sonny Gray was great. Matt's a little bit. Yeah, the rotation, a little bit of a step back in the middle. Miles was good. Um, rest of our bullpen... Kit Ridge was okay. Romano was really good. Glad we picked him up. Back into the bullpen was solid for sure. And okay, yes, Housley did make an all-star appearance. It's nice to see. 45 saves for the guy. All right, well, we're taking on the Reds in the wild card. Let's see how we can fare against them. Sonny Gray versus Hunter Green. Game one. We lose that one five to four. Housley, I was just getting done complimenting you and you, uh, you do that. Um, okay. Oh, well, we blew the game, so that's cool. That is very cool. I love that. That is fantastic. Zach Thompson blowing save. So our bullpen crap in the bed in game one. Game two, Matt's versus Abbott, and we lose 6-5. to five. And Matt's gets the loss as we once again crap the bed. Okay. There we go. That's our problem. See the pitching rotation? I mean, Sonny Gray was good. Matt's, eh. John King sucked. Zach Thompson sucked. Gibbert was good. Andre Pallante was good. And Helsley sucked. Damn. Lineup-wise, uh, hit and miss. Contreras wasn't very good. Most guys are pretty good. Gorman could have been better. Donovan could have been better. Well, it was only our first season, but hey, at least we're in the playoffs. So we got some of the build towards. I feel like our division is pretty weak. So, I mean, if we make a few adjustments, we'll get back on track and uh, be better next season. But let's see who ends up winning the World Series. Twins beat the Dodgers. Twins seem to win a lot in the sim. So I did my tenings of the contracts, arbitrations, uh, exclusive free and signings. I'm going to try to add some talent to the team. I'm looking at some starting pitchers here. I might want to try another arm to the bull, uh, to the rotation. I'm looking at a Corbin Burns, a Zach Wheeler. Both of those guys would be really nice to try to get. Uh, so we'll try to see if we can throw them a contract. And if we can get one of them, that'd be great. 
Um, I'm going to throw Wheeler a contract first. It would be like a six-year, $120 million deal. That He's probably not going to sign that. Burns might be a little less expensive. So if I can get Burns, plus he's 30, so he's a little younger. So maybe we throw him a little little cheeky deal here. We'll see if he wants to sign uh, and come over to St. Louis. So I'll throw him a deal if he wants to come. I'll try to add a couple more arms in the bullpen as well. I'm thinking uh, we throw a contract at like... Um, Maybe Lawizica wouldn't be too bad. We throw him a deal. Try to get him to our bullpen. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, something like that. <coughs> wow, coughing like crazy. And then maybe I don't know. Sean Armstrong wouldn't be too bad. Just to, you know, again, like a couple guys to add to the bullpen. You know, I like to have arms just in case. You never know. And obviously, Paul Goldschmidt. He's getting up there in age. I wonder if there's any other first basemen. Potentially sign. I wouldn't mind getting like a like a Pete Alonzo, uh, Paul Goldschmidt, maybe a Christian Walker could go after. Christian Walker would be decent. Plus, I feel like if he'd be less expensive. And not only that, the thing with Chris, with Christian Walker is he's a he's a better fielder, so that allowed Paul Goldschmidt to DH. So, yeah, I wouldn't mind that. All right, so our first signing will be Christian Walker, headline signing at least. I feel like got him a solid deal. Nice player to add to the team. Good, good, uh, good first baseman. All right, and we were able to get Corbin Burns to add to the rotation. I like that pickup for us. And um, yeah, I think that's I, that might be it for free agency. I mean, we're just waiting on Paul Goldschmidt to resign. I did sign a couple other uh, a couple other guys that signed. We did get Loizaga. We also got. Um, uh, Armstrong, which is cool. I don't know if there's any other pitchers we want to go after. I mean, do we want to throw Chris Martin a contract? We could throw him a deal. Maybe like a two-year deal. $7 million player option on it. If he wants to sign that. Um, I don't know if that means we did not get Paul Goldschmidt. Okay. Yeah, all right. I need to make sure. I, I want to keep Paul Goldschmidt, so uh, let's see. I probably have to move somebody. I'm um, should just deal with the Pirates. We're going to give up uh, Sung Chi Chang. Uh, we're going to get Sung Chi Chang for Mo Moises Gomez and Alec Burleson. I just have a surplus of right fielders, so I wouldn't mind using another shortstop in our organization. Plus, he's a 23-year-old. 69 overall would be potential. So, I mean, that's nice, too, to have maybe a piece down the, uh, down the road that we could potentially move. And, uh, yeah, this will allow me to then, you know, try to re-sign Paul Goldschmidt, hopefully, get him on our team. And, I mean, that would be pretty much about it. So let's see if we can get him back, and uh, we'll be good up and ready to go for the second season. All right, so to start the second season, uh, advance to the regular season just because. Uh, this is our starting lineup. We've got ourselves Duran, uh, Tommy Edmond, Lars Nookbar is back from his injury. They've got Gorman, Arenado. Walker, Springer, Goldschmidt, and Contreras. So I don't know where Christian Walker is. There he is. Okay, he's, I guess he plays against lefties, and Paul Goldschmidt plays against righties. Which, oh, well, I guess he DHs against. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, Donovan, Walker, Herrera, Carlson. So I like, I like the team. It's good. Nice, nice and balanced. Got our pitcher rotation. Burns with Gray, Mats, Libertor, and <clears throat> Kyle Gibson. Not bad. Miles McCollis, our long relief pitcher. He's an expiring where, yeah, he's making a lot of money. So once his contract comes off the books, he's going to be a lot less expensive to re-sign if we want to re-sign him. Middle of the bullpen's decent. Of course, the back end here, Romano, Martin, Helsley, should be pretty good, but you know, only time will sell once we start simulating. I like the squad. Unless I wanted to trade all of our top guys for, like, for Mr. Gambler. <laughs> I'm kidding. Anyways, all right, let's just keep going. Well, we don't know yet, but uh, I, like, I just like doing that. I just like seeing who I can, who's out there in the market. Uh, I think our team should be pretty good. So let, let's simulate. I'll see you guys around the trade online. Should be pretty good. It's going to be an exciting time. So we're at the All-Star break. We're 57-41, and 41, which, is in, which is pretty good. Six games up on the Reds, six and a half up on the Pirates. We get some injuries. Um, Walker fractured leg, so he'll be out for a while. 
He was having a solid season before he went out, so that kind of sinks to see from the man, the myth, the legend himself. But that just means other guys going to have to step up. And, yeah, Brendan Donovan stepping up in 329. Love that. That's what I like to see from you. Uh, Duran, I like a little more out of him. Lars Nootbaar has been phenomenal this season. Nolan Gorman's been good. Arenado's been very good. He's been great. Trey has been great. Springer has not been great. Christian Walker has not been great. And Tommy Edmond, decent, but on fire as of late. Ball goes really cold. And the bench isn't anything to write home about. A little bit upset with Springer. Um, having a down year. I don't know. We'll see how well he does the rest of the season if he's not quite up to standards. I mean, I can move him. I mean, really, I got him so that, you know, Lars Newtbar got hurt insurance and now he's healthy we're good and Donovan is having a good season too so we may not need him how's our rotation looking Corbin Burns not as great as I'd want him to be honestly Matt's has been really good though Sonny Gray's been good and the little has been very good Kyle Gibson good record but high ERA Miles out of the bullpen not much there that I'm impressed with Gallegos has been good the rest of the middle of the bullpen hasn't been good back end has been great Say for the most part, Mono's been pretty good. 20 holds, Elsley 30 saves. So I like to see that from the man, the legend himself. I mean, we can see what is out there in terms of moves. Now, I could try to do a nice salary dump here with, uh, like, involving Miles and also George Springer. And we could try to get s something for them. You know, that's a lot of budget. You know, maybe there's like a a really damn good player out there. Who knows? But I'll look and see what's out there in the market. And if I can find like another pitcher, that'd be nice. Uh, I'm going to get Tanner from the Red Sox. Miles calls George Springer, John King. Uh, can I also get anybody else here potentially? could be anything. Um, I feel like I can maybe get another player. What am I short on? Third baseman? Oh, you got a surplus of them. I'd love to be able to get friggin' Raphael Devers. He's so easy to trade for. But if there may be, well, I mean, if I threw a Matt Carver, then I don't know. Matt Carver's a young. Uh, someone, surely. No, they don't want to do it. Let's see, who's their worst player? See, they do that. They do like a relief pitcher. It's always relief pitchers, man. Nobody values relief pitchers. Nolan Kingham. Is that our best we can get? We can get this guy. B potential. We'll go with him. Andrew Sal Frank. Yeah, I mean, really, it's Tanner, but I like it. I think that's good. Let's see what happens the rest of the way. I'll see you guys at the end of the season. All right, well, our team was good. 101 wins, 61 losses. Won the division, taking the win of the wildcard playoff game. Let's stop simulating and see what we got going on. So we got some league leaders here. Tanner, 2.75 ERA. Corbin Burns innings pitched. Those are your leaders. Lars tied with uh, Corbin Carroll, probably just by percentage points. So good stuff there from him, getting up there. Some injuries here, but nothing too crazy. Got our lineups. How do we do? Uh, Donovan was really good when he played. Lars was excellent. Nolan was solid. Arenado was good. Jaron was okay. Walker was good. Yeah, a lot of the guys were pretty solid. It's good that we got a uh, bench looking all right. Look at that, Paul Goldschmidt. Nice second half of the season for him. Our pitcher rotation, Burns was good in the second half of the year as well. Tanner was obviously great pickup for us. Yeah, I like the bullpen now. It looks good. I mean, the rotation. I also like the bullpen. Wise had a really good season. Like Thompson was solid. Chris Martin was not. Armstrong, not great. Romano was pretty good. So was Gallegos and Ryan Housley. You know, hopefully in the playoffs, you don't choke. 47 saves on the season. And again, we won 101 games, won the NL. And uh, range at 106 wins. So we have the bye. And we're going to be taking on the Reds again. Well, last season, the Reds beat us two games in the best of three. 
They were an 87 win team this year. So let's see if we can get our revenge here. We've got Corbin Burns on the bump. Brandon Williamson for them. We win game one, three to one. Nice outing there from Corbin Burns. Game two, we got ourselves Tanner versus Hunter Green. We're gonna win that one three to two. Sean Armstrong coming in clutch. 12th inning. 12th inning for the guys. That's what we like to see. That's what we like to see right there. And the bullpen really stepped it up other than Zach Thompson who walked. Somebody, I guess, blew the save. I, I don't know. You guys let me know if you think it's a blown save or not. I don't think it would. I guess it would be considered a blown save. I, I don't know. I think he pitched fine. Anyways, game three, Mats versus Lodolo. Let's sweep them, and we do win 2-1. to one. Definitely the pitching. I need our offense to step up a little bit, but as hopefully we can against the Braves. We're definitely going to need to hit well against the Braves as uh, they've got a lot of talent on their squad. 91 win team, and they could hit. So, you know, we're going to need it. We're going to need to hit a little bit against them. Burns versus Pavetta, game one. Win two to zero. Okay. Um, not, I mean, we did enough, I guess. You know, Corbin Burns really did his thing out there. Shout out to the pitcher right now. It's actually clutching up. Game two, Tanner versus Hendricks. We win three to two. The pitching's been excellent so far. It's really been the pitching. Game three, Mats versus Elder. All right, that time we blew it. All right, that time we would do one bad game, and this is the game. Of course, we scored five runs, but we just – it wasn't enough. Yeah, our pitch was pretty bad this game. All right, game four. We win 12-8. to eight. Okay, pitching wasn't great, but, hey, our offense stepped up. All right, game five, Libertor versus Pavetta. Lose 5-1, to one, all right. Not great. Game six, Burns versus Hendricks. Let's close it out here. 5 nothing. Shout out to Corbin Burns. Let's go, man. He's been – He's been dominating this playoffs, playoff run, which is great to see. So we're in the World Series in our second season to take on the Tampa Bay Rays, who, by the way, <coughs> excuse me, who, by the way, were an 87-win team. Okay, I just couldn't find where they were in the standing side. So we're in the World Series. Rays are a good team. Tanner versus Shane, game one. We lose 4-2. to two. That was league. the loss. Yikes, he's been very good. Game two, Burns versus Rasmussen. 4-0. Shout out to Corbin Burns, man. Shout out to freaking Corbin Burns. It's a 1-1 series here. Big game three, Mats versus Eflin. We win that one 5-1. Let's go. Game four, Sonny Gray versus Aaron Savale. Let's get the W. We win it 12-10. We're going with game five. And I feel like it's fitting to hop in at least once. So we're going to hop on in this one. I hope we can win. Let's not blow a 3-1 lead, uh, San Diego Studios. Y y you think that's possible? Y you think that's po you would think that's possible, right? We're going to quick manage here. See what happens. At the trot, of course. And let's see what we got. So, first half inning. No runs there. We got an error, but nothing crazy. Tanner, what are you going to do? Give him a home run. So down 1-0 already. See if we can maybe muster up something. Right now, nothing too crazy. Our offense has not been doing much. Tanner's been doing pretty solid. Only getting up that solo home run. Other than that, he's been all right. But we just cannot seem to hit at all against Shane McClanahan. And it's, yeah, we have two hits. So, we need to do something. I think I'm going to have to, I think I'm going to pitch, strike out. All right, let's get you out of the game. Do nothing there. All right, we're going to put in, uh, let's put in Gallegos. Fly out. All right. Dylan Carlson, I need you to do something. No. Nutbar, single, Gorman, walk. All right. Something here. Contreras, fly out. And we lose the game 2-0. So we're going to a game six. All right. I'm a quick, should I quick sim this one? I'm a quick sim this one. Ah, but it's Burns. It's Burns. It's like, oh man, I gotta, I gotta watch Burns. I gotta watch Burns. We gotta watch Burns. We gotta watch Burns. Furiousation games. We gotta watch Burns, man. Please do not blow a 3-1 lead. That's all I beg. I just quick manage here. See what happens. We're our home team, though, which is nice. Cornbird's been really good in the playoffs, so let's see if he can kind of continue that. And good first half inning right there. And we got a run. So we're up 1-0. That's a good start. All right, Contreras, all right. Three runs, we're up 4-0. All 
I love this. This is great. Let's see. 4 0. 4 1 now. All right. They got to run. We got to run back. That was 5 to 1. Rasmussen's tired. They take him out. Hornbird's still doing well. He gives him another run. It's 5 to 2. 5 to 2 still. 7 to 2 now. All right, top of the eighth, bottom of the eighth now, really. Ground out, strike out. All right, we're keeping Burns in. Strike out. Ground out, and we're going to enter the game because this is we have a chance here to win, so let's, let's just enter the game. All right, uh, it is up to Yandy Diaz to keep the race hope alive as Corbin Burns is staying in the game. It is an 0-1 count. I know I'm blocking the screen. Uh, the score, but it's 7-2. You already saw it. 0-1 pitch here is a check swing. He did not go on that circle change. It is now a 1-1 count. Let's see what we could do here. Here's the pitch. And it is hit. We'd make that play. And we are. And your St. Louis Cardinals in the second season win a World Series. Just like that, we get the job done. There are the boys celebrating. Uh, a World Series. Let's go. Well, I mean, we still got three more seasons. We're going to try to win more, but shout out to the men. And there we are all celebrating. And, you know, shout out to the Rays. They they get, they always seem to get to the big stage, but just can't seem to close the deal. It happened in 2020. It's happened in 2008. So, great team. But, I mean, good, they're actually pretty good. You know, they're always, do they do a lot with, very little, but then when I say very little, I mean they're very. I don't know about that, but they just don't like to pay. They're cheap. There are the boys celebrating. There's Tommy Edmond. He's excited, and that's it. Okay, I feel like I shouldn't have skipped it, but I did. Got the corner. We're going the entire way. Probably could have taken him out, but you know, I was like, let's just rock with him. He's been so good, and obviously he was great there. We're gonna confirm exit. We're gonna go look at those stats. <clears throat> We're gonna look at the awards. As well, see who won the playoff MVP and World Series MVP because those are uh, pretty important. So, Carlos won the World Series, and uh, if we look at the awards, we got ourselves Jaron Duran, World Series MVP. So, I'm glad we picked him up. Playoff MVP is Brendan Donovan. So, yeah, Jaron, that was a good trade. Good trade for us. Shout out to him. Uh, yeah, the boys did well. Let's see the lineups. And overall, I mean, Nutbar was okay. On Farsley, Gorman was okay. Naranata, Walker didn't do great. Back in the line was not great. Honestly, it was literally these three guys up top, you'd, you'd say, pretty good. The bench was actually solid. Don Carlson did decent. But mostly it's our pitching. Corbin Burns, shots Corbin Burns. What a signing he was. So he's the, he's the big guy. That's the guy I want now all the time. Sonny Gray, not great. Tanner was good, too. He was a great pickup. Um... We did two trades with the Red Sox, I think, in this video. And both of them were good. So, yeah, Zach Thompson, not good. Not great. Yeah, I mean, I listened. The back end, Romano was good. Eagles, Hogsley wasn't good. Shout out to the boys. Got the job done. Set on to our next season. All right, so I did my arbitrations, tenderings, renewables, and we're here at free agency. Uh, of course, I want to make sure I re-sign Tommy Edmond. Housley we offered, Matt's Romano. Uh, I could try to add another arm or two in the bullpen. Uh, the question is who would be good for that. I mean, Lucas Sims would be interesting. Um, Phil wouldn't be too bad. I'll throw Phil a contract he wants to join our squad. Um, let's see if he wants to join. Another arm. I don't really make too many moves, I don't think. Other than that, I mean, yeah, I, I like the squad. We could throw, like, Vladimir Greer Jr. kind of really wanted to, but I don't think we need to. So I, I like the squad. I think we're good. I think we're all set with our team. So we're just going to get our guys back, and I think that uh, that might be all we need to do. I don't know if there's any bad contracts we want to get rid of on the team right now. Sonny Gray's expiring, and he's not even a bad contract. He's having a good season, so... Anybody here? Kyle Gibson, maybe. I mean, he wasn't even bad. He was pretty good. But, you know, he's going to be a 68 and probably be in the minors. So, Kitridge, maybe. 
can move. But other than that, I mean, yeah, there's really nothing too crazy on the team. So, yeah, let's just bring these guys back and hope for the best. Start at 13. I did make a, another signing. I did get Zach Eflin, which is nice. Uh, need another. I wanted another starting pitcher. So that's the only thing I did, I did a move I did besides going after uh, another guy for the bullpen. But, yeah, I mean, honestly, it's pretty much the same team. Everybody's still here. Uh, and you stay healthy, we're another. We're gonna win another. Uh, win another division. We're gonna win the division again. I think we stay healthy. So, yeah, team looks good. I like the lineups. The benches, you know, solid enough. It works. And then our rotation, uh, I think, got uh, is pretty good. We got Burns, Eflin. Now we've got Tanner, Mats, and Gray, which, which works. The bullpen is overall pretty solid. There's Phil. We signed coming off a nice season. So we'll see if he can continue that for us. It's a lot to ask for, but, you know. I do think that uh, we, I think we're good. I don't know if we need to make any other trades. I mean, unless I want to get some more speed. Are there any free agents out there we could sign? I mean, Kevin Kiermaier would be too bad. But I don't think we need to go that route. This Ricky Driver guy, we could sign him. I mean, I don't know if he'd be in the... I'd want him to be in AAA or something like that, but... Um, that'd be about it. Tom Yu. Grant the Dealey has a D potential. He was an all-star, though, somehow. Uh, for Detroit. Because, um, you know, everybody's going to be an all-star. I guess we could sign him. Throw him like a two year contract. Oh, never mind. All right, I'm not going to sign him to a two year deal. Screw it. All right, let's keep the team as is. Let's simulate. I'll see you guys at the All Star break unless I make a move before then. All right, All Star break is here. Let's take a look here and see what we got. 54 and 44, 10 games above. Uh, definitely tighter pack of the division this year. We have a wild card right now, but it's close. So let's see what happens here. We do have some injuries. Um, nothing too crazy. Trade block. Lindor's on the move, perhaps. Um, he's having a good season. His contract's pretty big, but I don't really need a. I don't really need him. Billy Castro. Ooh, excuse me. Stephen Kwan. I always like. I always like a little Stephen Kwan in my life. But we're not going to go after him. Uh, let's see. Jaron, uh, I mean, you're World Series MVP, but this, uh, right now in the regular season, not doing too much. Donovan's been good. Walker's been great. Gordon's on a fire as of late. Arenado, same thing. Bar's been good. Trey's on fire as of late. Overall, not too bad. Tommy Edmond, decent as well. The bench. It's been subpar except for Goldschmidt has been good. So he looks he looks good there. Pitching rotation. Burns has been excellent this year. Tanner's been good. Zach's been good. Nats has not been good. And Matthew Libertor has been good. And Gray's been pretty good as well. Middle of the bullpen has been extremely strong. And the back end has been fairly solid as well. So he doesn't pitch much. When he does pitch, he does well. So pitching's been good. Maybe the offense a little weaker, but... Still pretty solid. Team's still doing well. Uh, my guess is we could always look to trade our best players for Gunnar Henderson. Because I like doing that. Uh, wow, Logan Webb. That's a steal right there for the Giants. Mookie. Can't get Shohei, though. Right, anyways, we're good. We're good, though. We're going to keep the team as is. There's really no trades I want to make. I like the squad as is, so let's just keep it. And, you know, try to see if we can either win the division or get a wild card. It's be close. It's be tight. So we did well enough in the second half of the season to win our division, 95-67. And we'll take on one of the wild card playoff games, so that works for me. And we were the best team in the NL somehow with 95 wins. I'll take it. Royals in 97, so nobody in the 100 club this season. 
So not too bad there. Shutouts, Corbin Burns, four on the season. You love that. Injury list. Uh, Lars, torn calf. That's unfortunate. He was having a good season. You know, might, maybe he'll come back, uh, you know, during the ALDS. Contreras is gone for the season. All right. Let's see the lineups. So we got Herrera, who has not been very good for us. Carlson, okay. I like the way Jordan Walker played this year. Same with Brandon Donovan. Arenado had a great season. Oh, um, yeah, definitely our offense a little bit scary. Bench isn't great. I don't even know where Paul Goldschmidt is. Oh, they put him in the D. They put him in the friggin' minors. Cause he's regressed so much. All right. Uh, pitcher rotation. Burn. Yeah, the rotation's good. Burn's amazing. Matt's. Not too bad, could be better, could be worse, but overall pretty good. Bullpen was superb. Yeah, pitching was definitely our strength this season, so hopefully that can carries on. And that's what helped us win the World Series is our pitching. So we got to take on the Braves here. Now, we were the best record, but, you know, the Braves are obviously always a good team, 92-win team. It's a tough matchup there. Burns versus Montgomery, game one. We're going to win that one 5-1. Shout out to friggin'. Corbin Burns, man, burn. Game two, Tanner versus Woodruff. We win that one five to three. I like it. You can maybe get a sweep here. Eflin versus Strider. Win that one seven to two. Shout out to our pitching, man. Also, too, I mean, we did hit the ball a little bit better than is expected. I mean, yeah, we got 15 hits this game, so everybody did did their thing. No one has been terrible. Gorman's hitting 727. What? That is. Not going to last, but keep going, my man. All right, we got the Diamondbacks here in the NLCS. They got Blake Snell, who is usually terrible in the sim engine, but this time he wasn't, I guess. Burns had a bad outing. Game two, Eflin versus Manning. We win that one 7-3. to three. Game three here, Tanner versus Eduardo Rodriguez. We lose that one 8-3. to three. Game four, Libertor versus Blackburn. We win 7-1. to one. Corbin Burns, can you step it back up here? We don't. Blake Snell's actually been good. What? It's impossible. All right, we need to win game six here to force a game seven. Tanner versus Matt Manning, and we don't, unfortunately. Pitching was not as great in this series, unfortunately. So what are you going to do? But granted, uh, not having Contreras maybe hurt a little bit. And offensively, we actually did step it up. Walker, you know, Gorman was really good. A couple guys kind of stunk the bed. Yvonne Herrera has been absolutely terrible, so I probably want to get a better catcher. Uh, another catcher, just because, you know, if Contreras goes down, I could have some insurance there. Let's look at our rotation, though. Yeah, definitely not as good as uh, last year. That's I'll say that. Bullpen overall, too, is okay. Well, well actually pretty good, except for Romano. He was kind of duty, but not a big deal. We got two more seasons. We already got our World Series, which is nice. Diamondbacks beat the Blue Jays. It's going to season number four. So free agency's here. And, um, you know, I already did my arbitrations, tenderings, renewables. Try to see if we got a few guys. Um, let's take a look here at the uh, kind of just the lineups and just to see if there's anybody here that we want to maybe try to acquire. So now Nolan Gorman is a second base, but he's basically a DH. For us now, Christian Walker, you know he's get he's get 36, get up there in age. Uh, I'm looking at free agency, and we got Ryan Mountcastle, who's 30, a little younger. Um, I mean, I can go after him. I also want another catcher, so I'm gonna look to see if there's maybe some guys we can get there. Oh, but this is a pretty good first placement class. We've also got Yanni Diaz. We've got Daniel Lowe, who's pretty good. So I, I might look to try to make a couple signings to improve the lineups. Um, I'm going to get low on my battery. So I'll have to charge that in a moment. So I'm going to see if I can maybe get a few guys here. I'm going to try to definitely get another catcher for sure for Contreras. And, um, yeah, we'll see if we can maybe get a... Uh, the first baseman, maybe look to make a trade or two. All right, so first signing here, we're going to get Jonah Heim. 
uh, another catcher for us. So welcome to Team Jonah. And um, I also offered Daniel Lowe a contract, but I don't know if we're going to be able to get him, considering the fact that I reached my max amount of players for for guys. So I'm going to see if maybe we can make a trade. Then I think uh, a couple guys on the block, we're going to have to maybe look to move Christian Walker and or Paul Goldschmidt. I might combine both of them because that's a lot of money between the two. I know Goldschmidt has been around for a while. I got him a World Series, but I think it's just time to move on. 39 years old, he's expiring. So we'll see if we can maybe uh, finagle our way to maybe even get a better, you know, maybe trade for a first baseman too. That's another thing. Um, but I might just go after maybe like a, some organizational depth in some other positions of need. All right, so I need some third basemen. I'm basically just a salary dump here. We're going to get Brady House and Roger Ortega from the Nationals for Walker Goldsworth and Packy Nodden. Uh, you know, because they need some first baseman and start pitching. So, yeah, I'm going to now go after a first baseman here. I'm going to try to see if we can get Daniel Lowe back, uh, his offer back, see if he wants to accept it. If not, there are a couple other first basemen we're going to go after. So, we'll see if that falls through. If not, we could always go after, like, a Ryan Mountcastle, potentially. Even somebody like a Wilmer Flores would be okay. But he's getting up there a little bit. Maybe Lamont Wade Jr. We'll see. But I think Daniel's the guy I really want to get. So let's see if we can get him. Okay, wait. I don't know if I was able to do this ever in the past or not. But why is this allowing me to do this? Okay. I guess you can do that now. I feel like you couldn't do that before. Where if someone was like, didn't have a contract. That is completely new to me in that case. Like maybe it depends on the player. Cause like these guys aren't signed to contracts. So how does that work? Cause he's not on a contract. Maybe cause you're, I don't know. Maybe it's arbitration. Who knows? That's interesting. I did not know that you could do that. I guess that's new to me, but um, the reason I did that trade is I still, I'm running, I'm still running low on like uh, roster spots, so I'm trying to see if we can maybe get him. Hopefully, I don't get that notification again where like I'm full on, you know, roster spots. I'm just trying to get the Daniel Lowe, and there we go. Finally got him. That's what I wanted to do. I'm with the team. All right, fourth season. Advance to the regular season. I believe it's the fourth season. Yeah, it is the fourth season. So, I like our team. We're looking pretty good. We got our lineups here. Uh, we've got Jaron still. We got Brendan Donovan, Jordan Walker, Gorman, Arenado. We've got Daniel Lowe now in the squad. Newt Bar, Contreras, and Edmund. We have Jonah Heim, who's going to play against lefties, which is fine. And of course, we have Mason Win now. He's still not at the. He's not yet starting material. So, <laughs> he hasn't played since 2025. But at least he's on the actual bench now, so he'll maybe get some reps. Um, and our rotation, still pretty good. Uh, I probably need another starting pitcher, so maybe I'll try to acquire a starting pitcher. I don't know if I want Drew Rom being my starter, my fifth starter. So I think, yeah, if we could try to get somebody else to start, that'd be nice. I mean, I, I, I guess we have Matthew Libertor. I don't know why he's in the minors, but... My guess is because we just don't have enough guys. So, I'm going to... Unless there's a free agent we could sign. Kyle Hendricks. Seth Lugo. I mean, we get oh, Kyle Hendricks ideal, I mean. Yeah, no, okay, roster's full. Yeah, I want to see if we can... Maybe, let me try to see if we can trade for, like, another starting pitcher. Um, And then... uh. Yeah, because I don't think I want... I don't want Drew Rahm being my starter. I'll do this deal with the Cubbies and get Cal Quantrill, Thomas Armstrong, and Leahy. Uh, just because I'd rather have Cal be my fifth starter. Um, and yeah, and then we'll just have Drew Rahm be like a longer lead pitcher. If that's what uh, that's what we're going to have it be. So, that's it for me. I'll see you guys at the All-Star break. Again, we should be a pretty good team. Probably playoff bound. In 40, 
five games up on the Pirates and Brewers, five and a half up on the Reds. So mm, there's a little bit of a mishmash there. Cubs are kind of out of it, but hey, we're looking pretty good. We get some injuries right now. Quantrill, we trade for you and he hurt, gets himself hurt. Um, and he also never pitched for us, so that's cool. Fractured form for Steven Matz, who's having a solid year. But I hope we'll get him back soon. Our starting rotation is looking like this. It's not amazing. Uh, Zach Thompson, though, has looked uh, <coughs> pretty good this year. Um, I mean, up here is okay. I mean, Burns, a little bit down here, though. Back end's a little bit iffy. Here's the bullpen, and then you got your back end of the bullpen. It's not great. Our lineups, though, must be pretty good. Jaron's doing have a good season. Brandon Donovan, eh. Walker's been good. Nolan Gorman's been good. Daniel Lowe's been solid. Arenado, not so much. Lars been excellent. So there's some hit and miss. Trey's definitely getting tired up there. He's regressing. Uh, Mason Wynn, been solid this year. Carlson, same thing. So, all right. Some potential. Um, I mean, we're just going to keep the team as is. Again, right now we're a 58-win team, which is one of the better teams in the league. So let's keep uh, hitting the ground hard. So we won uh, the division. 96-66, and 10-1 over the locker, team, playoff team. So we get a bye, which is nice. Some injuries here. Let's take a look and see who's hurt. Contreras broken finger. Glad I went for Jonah Heim just because you knew that Contreras was starting to regress and yeah, obviously no Cal Quantrill. Pitch rotation otherwise. We'll look at that first. It's not bad from Burns. Better second half of the season. Cameron's cold end of the year. Effing great year. Mm, back end, I don't know, a little bit iffy. This Tink Hence guy, not great. Steve Nats was solid. Middle of the bullpen was okay other than Chris Martin's high ERA. Uh, Phil was good. John Lewisga was solid. And Helsley did fine as well. 40 saves for the guy. And then our lineups. Jaron Duran had a good year. Walker was solid. Gorman. So overall, not too bad. Jonah Hyman did see on fire. Mason Wynn, 38. Carlson, good though. And bench, nothing to write home about, but we'll take it. So who are we going to be taking on? That is the question. Well, we were a 96-win team. Twins, 102 wins, 104 for the Astros, 103 for the Phillies. And we've got a date with the Dodgers. And the Dodgers, in case you guys are curious, 93-win team. Burns versus Miller, game one. We win 3-2. Zach Thompson getting the W. Game two, Tanner versus Tyler. And then one 4-3. With the W. K3 Evelyn versus Shohei Otani, and we win 9 0. Zach Evelyn, wow. And he hit a seven hitter the entire way. Oh, the strikeouts, but we'll take it. And we're taking on our boys in Pittsburgh. Dylan Cease on their squad. Pittsburgh, he's going to curious. The Pirates, 89 win team. How are we going to do against them? Birds versus Dylan, game one, we lose 5 to 4. Game two, Tanner versus Johan. We lose 4-2. We're down 2-0. We're going to go down 3-0. Eflin versus Rodgers. We do once again by one run. And we win 4-3, though. That one, that's where we're getting the W. Keller versus Corbin. Game five. Need to win this one. And we don't. Shout out to the boys for losing, but that's all right. Let's take a look here and see how we did. Uh, Gorman was pretty bad in the playoffs. So was Daniel. Lars wasn't great. So, some hit and misses there on the lineup. Dylan Carlson, one for five in the playoffs. Postseason baseball rotation. Burns didn't do that great. Tanner was solid. Couldn't get the win. Eflin was really good. Matthew Levitore. Eh. Cooper was solid. Got a W. Um, Matt did his job when he pitched. Thompson was okay. Gallegos was okay. Yeah, I mean, overall decent. But not good enough to win. So we're going to have one more season, though. We already got our World Series. I'm trying to win another one if we can. Twins beat the Pirates in the 2027 World Series. Let's head on to our fifth and final season. See if we can maybe get back to the World Series and win one to end out the video. Free agency. 
Part of me wants to try to sign like another pitcher. Um, I gotta make sure I re-sign like our other guys like Arenado, Donovan, Nutbar. I like to keep Tanner on the team as well. But if I could try to get like another really good starting pitcher for our team, I might as well go after somebody. So there's some really good starting pitchers out there. I'm gonna see if, who wants to come to uh, St. Louis. All right, so I was trying to get Reed Detmers, but then he left me to Washington. He was around Illinois, so that's why I was like, oh, maybe get someone close to Missouri. But instead, we went for Logan Gilbert. He was still out there. Um, added him to our rotation, which should bolster it up. So welcome to Team Logan Gilbert. Also, um, sign. I thought I signed another relief pitcher somewhere here. Jason Adam, there he is. I picked him up too to bolster up the bullpen. You never have too many arms, you know? So we're heading into our fifth and final season here. And I like the squad. I mean, the lineup is pretty much still the same. As you can see, the bench is at least against uh, righties. But then, you know, it gets lefties. Some of these guys are, you know, going to play. Others won't. So that's cool. Nolan Arenado. By the way, look at Nolan Arenado's awards. You know, obviously World Series champ is not there, but... He was three-time home run champ, six-time Silver Slugger. He is a ten-time All-Star and an astounding thirteen-time Gold Glove winner. Certainly a Hall of Fame career, uh, especially when you consider he had 431 home runs so far, 285 average. He should probably get to 450, close to it this season. And I'm assuming if I were to keep going on, he'd probably play another couple seasons. Maybe get to 500. Certainly a first ballot Hall of Famer career. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. I didn't, well, at least not, if not first ballot, he's definitely a Hall of Famer. For sure. So, anyways, uh, let's continue to simulate. Let's see what happens here in this uh, fifth and final season. Oh, yeah, here's the rotation, by the way, in case you guys are curious. Not too bad. Bullpen. Overall pretty solid. Um, yeah, you got Romano in the, in the minors, but what are you going to do? Looks good. Let's see what happens for the final season. So we ended up having a great, uh, we're on an eight game win streak right now. So which is helpful because we weren't looking too great up to that point, but we needed it. 53 and 43. So we're three and a half games behind the Cubs. We'd have a wild card spot, which is nice. So I look. I might look to make a trade just to kind of bolster the team. A little bit of injuries here. Carlson hurt for a while. Of course, he was hurt. He, did, he was doing well before he got hurt. And then, you know, Burns is going to be out for another few weeks. He then had not had a good season at all. Let's take a look at the lineups here. Man, Jaron's been a great pickup for us. He was a good, honestly, yeah, he had some. Last year was really good. He was good in the World Series. And this year, he's dynamite this year so far. R has been good. Walker's been good. Nolan. Both Nolans. Nolan's still doing pretty solid. He's at 447, so. Probably get to that point. Daniel, all right. Donovan, Jonah, Tommy Evans been decent. <clears throat> I like it. Bench, nothing too crazy to write home about, but it works. Wills Contreras barely played this season. Pitching rotation. Gilbert's been good. Adi Libertor, high ERA, but a good record. Tink, ugh. Zach Eflin. Yeah, I, I, I think we'd make one more trade. The bullpen overall. Some ups and downs. And Helsley, 29 saves. I want to make one more trade. Let's see who's out there on the trade block. It's either a bat or or a pitcher. But let's see. I'll view the trade block, who's out there. That's really what it's all about. Not really a lot of pitchers. But, you know, Kyle Harrison. With Chase Dolander. I feel like those guys wouldn't be too hard to get. Tanner. Yeah, well, these guys have sucked this year. All right. I, I, I mean, we can look. Let's see. We're going to do this deal with the Rockies. We're going to get Chase for Mats, uh, Anthony, Veneziano, and then Gavin Collins. So that help us out there. Um, you know, hopefully Chase can pick it up with us in a uh, post-All-Star break. And that's all I got. So, see you guys at the end of the season. Should probably make the playoffs. Either there's a Walker team and win the division.
Win the division. At 86 and 76 is fine. Take on the Cubbies in the wild card round. And uh, they had 88 wins. So we had a wild card. We'll take it. Brewers got eliminated. Luckily made it. Uh, I guess what gave us the edge was the, <coughs> you know, us being better in the division and all that good stuff. See the uh, injury list. But he's hurt right now, so that's good. Everybody's back healthy. Lineups look solid. Overall, I mean, the top four guys in our lineup were great. Back and not as not as good, but all no nobody horrible though. Like below 240, which is nice. Uh the bench, Carlson, nice. Contreras, nice. It works. Pitching rotation. Overall, not great, other than Gilbert. Burns, we have him back now. The long relief pitcher's not nothing to desire. Middle works overall, and then back end is pretty good other than Zach Thompson, who didn't do that great. Helsley, 47 saves. So we get the Cubbies. Gilbert versus Scooball. Game one, we lose. This could be it here. This could be the video. Chase versus Drew Thorpe, and we lose 5-1. That's the video. Okay, we got one World Series. So, can't be mad about that. We didn't really hit the ball that great. So, we didn't pitch well either. So, what are you going to do? Can't win them all. But, hey, we got, we got ourselves a World Series. So I can't be too mad about that. I consider that a success in my book. Built some good teams. Made the playoffs all five seasons. Rays beat the Dodgers in the World Series. Let's, uh... Let's just see if anybody retires. That's important. Curious to see if Nolan... No, 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 did not retire. All right, cool. So, yeah, with that all being said, let's go to full screen and close the video. So, hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like on the video and subscribe. If you're not subscribed already, hit the bell if you want to be notified when I upload. Comment down below some of my videos. Whatever socials, play the second channel and main channel. Down below in the description if you like the content from DJP. And I think uh, our next team, I believe I said, was the White Sox next AL team. So, that should be fun. Be on the lookout for that one when it comes out. That being said, I'm going to head on out, though. For now, take care, everybody. We'll see you soon. Peace.